Yeah, she's my fiance. Well, that would certainly explain the hostility. W I C Z R. And welcome back to the morning mix. I'm your host, Ian Sachs, flying solo today without my co host, Big Shot Rob. And well, today I can consider this great coach's day as earlier spoke about my top NBA coaches of all time. Um, you know, the, with Greg Popovich claiming his. 1,000th career win last night, but before, uh, you know, now moving on, I'm going to go to the best college, one of the best college basketball coaches of all time, and that's Dean Smith, who passed away over the weekend, the legendary North Carolina basketball head coach who, who wrapped up his career with 879 wins, which at the time of his retirement was the most of any player of of any coach in the sport. He has since been surpassed by Bob Knight, Mike Shashevsky, and Jim Beheim. But Coach Smith, just a, a, an absolute great coach and innovator, and more importantly, a person. I mean, the the le- legendary slogan, the Carolina way, he embodied that. And really, the what North Carolina is all about is, is all about Dean Smith and the, the arena where the Carolina men's basketball team plays is the, the Dean Smith Dome uh, or the Dean Smith Arena, nicknamed the Dean Dome. And really could not be a a more of a, a better person. And you know, for for example, the the when a, a basketball player scores a basket and the one of his teammates gets an assist on the play, and you know, frequently what we'll see the the player point to his teammate who gave him the the ball and and recorded the assist on the play Dean Smith started that and just the the level of of respect that he taught his players to have for one another and and to to enjoy playing with one another and and really to to lock in and 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 be nice and considerate and everything really demonstrates the the kind of person that that Dean Smith was um so so very very sad news in the world of of college basketball in particular and, and really the the world of sports in general uh Smith was 83 and and is survived by his wife and his five children and you know d- just so many uh, great and, and influential basketball people have have shared their thoughts on on Coach Smith, and uh, just reading them really quickly. Current North Carolina coach Roy Williams, who was an assistant for Smith, said Smith was the greatest there was the, the greatest there ever was on the court by far, far better off the court with people. He continued by saying. I'd like to say on behalf of all our players, coaches, past and present, that Dean Smith was the perfect picture of what a college basketball coach should be. We love him, and we will miss him. And then, you know, uh, Smith then also coached in in the 1980s, Michael Jordan, and it, it was with Smith that, that Jordan's career really took off and where he gained national prominence by uh, pr- probably one of the most famous college basketball games, the 1982 National Championship at Jordan against Patrick Ewing at, at Georgetown, and, and Jordan leading the Tar Heels to a national championship, Smith's first championship as, as a coach, and then he won again 11 years later as the, the Tar Heels won the 1993 national championship over Michigan 
and the Fab Five. But anyway, Jordan uh, said that other than my parents, no one had a bigger influence on my life than Coach Smith. He was more than a coach. He was a mentor. He was my mentor, my teacher, my second father. Coach was always there for me whenever I needed him, and I loved him for it. In teaching me the way the game of of basketball, he taught me about life. My heart goes out to Linnea, who's Smith's wife, and it, and their kids. We've lost a great man who has an incredible impact on his players, his staff, and the entire UNC family. Uh, you know, Coach Smith's record speaks for itself. 36 seasons as head coach of North Carolina. As I said earlier, 879, 879 wins, 254 losses, a 776 winning percentage, 11 Final Four appearances, two national championships, 17 ACC regular season titles, 13 ACC tournament titles, eight-time ACC Coach of the Year. Uh, UNC finished in the top three in the ACC regular season standings in each of Smith's 33 f- final years as as coach. So uh, the, they didn't finish in the top three in only some of his first three seasons. His only losing year was his first year at UNC. Um, you know, then he also coached the 1976 USA men's Olympic team that won gold. Uh, you, you know, Coach Smith just revered throughout the sport. Duke head coach Mike Krzyzewski, a longtime rival of Smith, uh, stated, We have lost a man who cannot be replaced. He was one. Uh, he was one of a kind, and the sport of basketball lost one of its true pillars. Dean possessed one of the greatest basketball minds and was a magnificent teacher and tactician. While building an elite program at North Carolina, he was clearly ahead of his time in dealing with social issues. However, his greatest gift was his unique ability to teach what what it takes to become a good man. That was easy for him to do because he was a great man himself. All of his players benefited greatly from his basketball teachings, but even more from his ability to help mold men of integrity, honor, and purpose. Those teachings specifically live for, will live forever in those he touched. You, you know, Smith, just a, a f- sensational basketball mind and, and person. President Obama issued a, a statement about about Smith. Uh, he said, last night, this was uh, re- released Sunday, and Smith, I-, I believe, passed away Saturday night. Obama said, last night, America lost not just a coaching legend, but a gentleman and a citizen. When he retired, Dean Smith won had won more games than any other college basketball coach in history. He went to 11 Final Fours, won two national titles, and reared a generation of players who went on to do even better things elsewhere, including a young man named Michael Jordan, and all of us from Chicago are thankful for that. But more importantly, Coach Smith showed us something that I've seen again and again on the court, that basketball can teach us a lot more about who you are than a jump shot alone ever could. He graduated more than 96% of his players and taught his teams to point to the teammate who passed them the ball after a basket. He pushed for forward the civil rights movement, recruiting the first black scholarship athlete to North Carolina and helping to integrate a restaurant and a neighborhood in Chapel Hill. And in, and in his final years, Coach Smith showed us how to fight an illness with courage and dignity. For for all of that, I couldn't have been more I couldn't have been prouder to honor Coach Smith with Medal of Freedom in 2013. So just the the way that, that Coach Smith took the game of basketball and showed his players lessons in it demonstrates why he is was one of a kind and why 
the he is so revered throughout the sport of of basketball and really in the world at large as as demonstrated by President Obama's statement there uh you know coach Smith a a legend in the game and a person that was larger than life now transitioning sticking with great college basketball uh real quick I I've only got a, a few minutes left but moving over to women's college basketball last night a showdown among the top two teams in the nation UConn and South Carolina squared off in Connecticut the Connecticut the Huskies coming away with an 87 to 62 win defeating South Carolina and ending their hopes of running the table and, and claiming a perfect season the Huskies shooting the lights out with fit ch- making 55% of their shots from the floor 72% of their threes 8 of 11 from beyond the arc uh this dominant win for the Huskies illustrates that you know even though they were the number two team in the country they are far from being dethroned as the two-time defending champions and it is going to take a lot for someone to beat them this year and yes that they, they did have the the overtime hiccup to Stanford to Stanford earlier in the year but the Huskies firing on all cylinders last night illustrating that that they are the team to beat in women's college basketball and really I I don't see anybody matching up with them I mean the the number one team in the country lost to them by 25 and so I think Carolina I mean Carolina uh, I think Kentucky, uh, Connecticut is way ahead of the competition and very similarly to the men's college basketball side in which in which you have Kentucky, the overall number one team in the country, who they are undefeated. I think they are by far the top team in the country. And so... I really do like UConn and Kentucky to continue their dominance, and and if if they if the those two teams don't win the rest of their games, then uh, you know there there would be a major upset there, and you know the, just the, the these Huskies just dominant yesterday that. That's that's really the the best word I, I can say for it. Four Huskies in double figures, led by forward Kalina Mosqueda Lewis with twenty three points. You had Brianna Stewart with twenty two points, eight rebounds. Then of course M- Morgan Tuck with seventeen, Mariah Jefferson with sixteen. So really, just the the this balanced attack for the Huskies. I mean, yeah. Go out, maybe you can stop Mosqueda Lewis, but then Stewart will step up. Stop Stewart, then you'll have you know Jefferson or Tuck. They're just so deep; they can attack you in so many different ways. And really, the the South Carolina Gamecocks had no answer for them last night as the Huskies rolled to a win there. And really, I I, I see the Huskies rolling to to a third straight national championship it, it, it would not be unprecedented for Gino Oriema and his staff as that they, they won three straight spanning from 2002 2003 2004 and you know the the, the Huskies uh excelling and and really hitting hitting their strides uh G, coach Oriema reaching the 900 win plateau just just about a, a a week or so ago and and you know even though he hit that milestone he he has his eyes set on a 10th national championship as after the game he said these 900 wins are great but six more in march would would mean just about as as much as them as as he has his 
eyes set on a national championship. And with, with the way UConn performed last night, I really don't see anyone stopping them along their way for, for a quest for a three-peat. But that is all the time that I have today as it is almost 10 o'clock and, and Spring Gonzalez is getting ready for her show. So you do not want to miss that as you, th- that is it for your Tuesday morning mix. I'm Ian Sachs and uh, I will see you next week. WICR presents another great New York sports moment. On March 25th, 1995, Michael Jordan exploded for 55 points. Just five games after.